appropriate uh, for myself to interfere in the foreign affairs of the people of Somalia. Yes. The United States government. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The United States government recognizes the sovereignty of the nation of Somalia, as well as the Arab League, the African Union, and the Organization of Islamic Conference. The objective of the United States people is to promote political and economic stability, prevent the use of Somalia as a safe haven for terrorism, and alleviate the humanitarian crisis caused by years of conflict, droughts, and flooding. Last year, I had the privilege of participating in a celebration here in Clarkston with hundreds of Somali-born residents, uh, many now are U.S. citizens and, and live here in Clarkston, after Mohammed Abdullah Farmajo, Farmajo? Farmajo, yeah. Farmajo. Farmajo was elected by the Parliament of Somalia. Um, I experienced great unity from the Somali people here in Clarkston and, uh, and, and, and heard about it from around the country and around the world. Uh, an end to decades of violence, division, and pain uh, certainly were at that time, and I think are still in sight. Now is the time to seek unity for Somalia. Last month, last month we had a very large and enthusiastic group of people representing a political movement in Somalia that are seeking independence to form their own autonomous state of Somaliland. While I have deep respect for individuals to seek out their own voice and independence and nonviolent and appropriate political means, it was premature for the city of Clarkston to step into what is clearly a local political issue in the country of Somalia. I, I would respectfully ask that the Clarkston City Council uh, consider issuing a new proclamation, yes. um, understanding that proclamations are not force of law and we cannot rescind proclamations given simply a statement of use, and I think it would be appropriate for the, the city of Clarkson to recognize the United States government position on the country of Somalia and its efforts to rebuild as one country after years of destruction. And so with that, that mindset um, to hopefully set the stage, I wanted to uh, read from one of my favorite poems, uh, A Builder or a Wrecker. And it goes like this. As I watch them tear a building down, a gang of men in a busy town, with a ho-he-ho -ho and a lusty yell, they swung a beam and the side wall fell. I asked the foreman, are these men skilled? And the men you'd hire if you wanted to build? He gave a laugh and said, no, indeed, just common labor is all I need. I could easily wreck in a day or two what builders have taken years to do. And I thought to myself as I went my way, which of these roles have I tried to play? Am I a builder who works with care, measuring life by rule and square? Am I shaping my work to a well-made plan, patiently doing the best I can? Or am I a wrecker who walks to town content with the labor of tearing down. O oh Lord, let my life and my labors be that which will build for eternity. So with that being said, <laughs> and understanding the words we use themselves uh, can be very powerful. They can be used to build bridges of understanding over years and years. And they also can knock them down in a matter of minutes. Thank you for using your three minutes wisely tonight. Thank you.